the hip bridge is an exercise that you'll see in so many different modalities of working out, whether it's strength, yoga, Pilates, but I'm gonna show you how I love to refine the bridge. So, of course, you're laying on your back, and with your knees bent, you'll hear so many different instructors tell you where your feet should be. Now, for me personally, I don't care if they're touching your fingertips or what, I just care about when you lift your hips, your knee or your leg, your shin is at a, like kind of a straight angle at the top. So there are so many different benefits to having your legs out a little bit further. You're seeing different parts of your hamstrings. But today, uh, for this specific bridge, I just want you to focus on lifting your hips and making sure your shins are relatively straight here. So I personally love to bring my palms facing up towards the sky so I can open up my chest, spread through my chest so I can get an open posture so I can focus on keeping my rib cage down, tailbone tucked. Because what I see a lot is a lot of arching through the back, especially if your glutes are weaker. So really focus on digging through your heels to get your hamstrings, glutes to fire up, tilt your pelvis, open up your chest and really get your hips high and feel the backside of your body working. Um, if you're working with a dumbbell, you'll place the dumbbell on your hip. You can have one dumbbell or two and holding it steady. You'll just lift your hips, similar idea. Just make sure your shoulders are relaxed while you're holding it since you don't have that opportunity to really press into the floor. So again, just really focusing on tilting your pelvis, digging through your heels um, as you work through the bridge. And you can see different variations of this. Um, in my exercise library, I'll have staggered, I'll have long bridges, but that's just a regular old, old school.